What's going on today, guys? <clears throat> we are back in the garage with uh, some more testing in uh, this episode of Milwaukee versus Snap-on. Uh, today's gonna be a little different. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little apples versus oranges here since the Snap-on is butane gas and the Milwaukee is battery powered. Uh, with the specs on some of these, the Milwaukee is a M12 cordless soldering iron. Uh, the part number is 248820. Uh, at Home Depot, it goes for $89 without the battery. Um, the Snap-on is uh, a butane gas soldering iron kit. Uh, that part number is YAKS42. It currently goes for $198.50. So it is just about $110 more expensive than the Milwaukee, but we'll get into why. Um, the, we'll run this over here. So the Milwaukee I've had for uh, probably around uh, four years now, and it has, a pivoting head on it so you can have it adjustable it has three uh, selections so it has low medium and high and of course you can just keep it anywhere but when you are trying to solder something you've got um, whatever you're trying to solder maybe a wire put a little uh, solder on the wire uh, you always want it uh, not to move um, the they claim that it reaches uh, up to temp speed in 18 seconds, uh, which is really quick uh, considering um, you, th you put it on and you can you know, grab your other stuff and by the time you've, you've grabbed your solder and your wire or whatever you're gonna be soldering together, it's already up to temp and ready to go for you. Um, it says that on a compact battery, the runtime is 40 minutes. Uh, now, when I Google Milwaukee compact battery, um, a 1.5 amp hour or a 2 amp hour, um, the torpedo battery comes up, um, which is just the small one without the flat, without the base here. It's just a, it's, it's one pole piece. Um, and I'll tell you that it's definitely not going to run 40 minutes on a two amp hour battery. Um, I would have to say that this is what they're talking about. Uh, I've got a 6.0 battery on here and I would have to say that that would definitely do 40 minutes of runtime, um, on a six amp hour battery. Uh, and you might get 20 to 30 minutes on a four amp hour battery, but you're definitely not going to get, um, a compact battery to run 40 minutes. Um, with that, it does have uh, the switches here. All you do is flip it up. This here will blink uh, green until it's ready for up to temp and it will do, it'll uh, stay uh, lit green. It is nice on it. It does have a light at the top. Uh, so that is nice when uh, say you're in a cabinet uh, soldering some wires together and you don't have a whole lot of light, throw this thing in there and you have the light switch there for you. And as you can see, it's already up to temp. It's already nice and hot. And um, as most people do, put a little rag on there, clean it off. And as you can see, it's already smoking. It's already burning the rag, cleaning all the debris off. So it's definitely already up to temp. Uh, the Milwaukee comes with uh, two. Let's go ahead and shut this off. Uh, when you shut it off, <clears throat> it's going to stay red. And it'll stay red for quite a while just to make sure that it has cooled itself down. Uh, I don't know. It didn't uh, specify on the Milwaukee page on how long that it takes for it to cool down. Um, but it's one of those you, you just kind of put it away and forget about it uh, until you... Are packing up for the day and 
uh, then it'll be off. Uh, it does come with two different heads. Uh, they are screw on here. I probably should have done that uh, before I turned it on, but they just unscrew here. And the other one is um, like a, a flat uh, piece, a flat tip on there. Um, yeah, as far as that, um, I do like the fact also that on here, it does have uh, the ridges here. So you are able to just lay it down. And you can solder it here as well um, without it touching the ground or anything like that. So with that said, uh, like I said, I've used this uh, a few times uh, over the last uh, few years and it is re it's a really great tool because you can just stand it up and do your soldering on there. So I have, like I said, I have used this uh, quite a few times and haven't had any problems out of the heat or anything like that. So now we'll get to the snap-on. Uh, the snap-on pops out like this. It does have a magnet on it. So that is probably the main reason that I am comparing the two. Uh, just because the snap-on stands up and then it has the bigger head um, at the tip of it. So you can lay it down uh, with this one. We'll go ahead and move it back a little bit. I got a, a metal stand here so you can just put it on there and it's got a pretty healthy magnet on it. It's pretty tough to knock off um, when, it's, uh, when it's on there. So with that, unplug this, pull that off and you have your, uh, you got your tip here. Um, all you do is, well, we'll, uh, we'll go through a couple things before we turn it on again. Like I said, the magnets on the bottom, as you can see, um, the, uh, case for it is nice. It has, uh, just a, a piece of metal here, so it locks onto there as well. So when you're uh, moving it around and stuff like that, it's not going to fall off. Uh, it's nice because it does come with uh, some soldering coil on there. Um, I've used this one just a few times. Uh, this soldering coil is really thin. Uh, as you can see, it's already, I mean, I, this is the first time I've taken it out and it's already kind of bent and messed up. So this is probably not the best to use, but it's in there if you need it. It's got a nice little snap in case for that um, this down a little bit. Uh, it does have <clears throat> I think it comes with two of them I think I've already lost one of them um, it's a, just a cleaning uh, pad for it so when it's nice and hot uh, you can uh, get the excess uh, metal off of there or solder off of there um, the bottom of it as you can see comes with four uh, different tips. Um, this is what the you know, we'll still do. This is what the Milwaukee one looks like as well. It's the flat tip, uh, but they do have four different ones on here. <clears throat> Put these back. And what is really nice about the snap-on is it comes with a torch as well. So we'll get to turning this bad boy on. So you will just flick this up here. And uh, eventually it'll start heating up uh, to where it's nice and hot. Um, but <clears throat> all you do is click it back uh, when you are done with it. And if you, nice and easy, you can take this off, set this aside, and it has uh, indicators on here. So you want to put um, the marking here on the little marking that's on the, uh, the tip here on there and just give it a little turn so it's locked into place. And this is the um, the torch kit, and it's definitely on. It's it doesn't do a whole lot, 
uh, but if you were to solder two wires together and, uh, and put the plastic uh, tubing on it and melt the plastic uh, in there, uh, this would definitely do it. Um, it's not going to do a whole lot real fast because, I mean, as you can see, it's, yeah, it gets, gets hot if, if it uh, stays in one spot for too long. But it's real nice. It does have a control valve here. So it's got a low setting and then a high setting. And then uh, <clears throat> with the casing, um, if you don't have it off uh, and you go to put this off, the casing will automatically snap this back and shut this off. <clears throat> now, I wouldn't recommend uh, if you want to shut it off by putting this on there and then throw it in your toolbox or anything, because it'll probably still melt even if it has the vent clips or the vents here. Uh, it's definitely still going to melt the plastic in the area if you do it uh, enough times. Uh, like I said, uh, this one does have uh, butane, so it has a two-sided window here, so that you uh, you'll stick your uh, your butane here, and you'll push uh, down on it, and uh, you can see it rise up in the window here. Uh, the butane. Butane isn't too much, um, depending on where you buy it. Um, I think I have the um, the Blue Point butane, and I want to say it was twenty or thirty dollars for. Eh, it was a relatively small can, um, but you can get the cans anywhere, um, Amazon or Home Depot or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, with these two. As you can see, the Milwaukee, even with it being on for uh, only a few seconds, it still uh, says that it's all, or hot. And it's just a little warm, but technically it was up to temp. Um, so the temp time uh, is 18 seconds here. It didn't specify here uh, on the snap-on, uh, but with uh, normal um, butane, they probably take about a minute to get up to full temp. Uh, maybe maybe a little less, maybe 45 seconds. Um, now, it is a little um, apples to oranges, considering you have battery and uh, butane. Uh, they both are nice because they both can uh, sit up uh, if you need be and uh, solder something. Um, I think the uh, Milwaukee probably gets it for me just a little bit more. Uh, because you can stand it up anywhere. <clears throat> you don't have to have uh, a magnetic area to do that. So, <clears throat> uh, overall, um, with everything, um, the tool itself, like I said, is $98. Uh, if you were to get like a 4 amp hour battery, you would probably pay about $60 to $80 for a 4 amp hour battery. Um, so, <clears throat> In the end, they're probably about $50 difference when you buy the battery or if you buy the kit with it. Um, but they're, they're both nice. They both have their um, pros and cons with it. Um, but I would probably I would probably grab the Milwaukee uh, before I grab the Snap-on um, just because the Milwaukee is just the battery and uh, the gun itself. Uh, with the Snap-on, you've got um, all of the... Um, fittings and stuff like that and, and like I said before that I think I've already lost this and it already dropped off the out of here because it doesn't stay in there it just fits it in there um, so that's my uh, tool review uh, of these uh, if you uh, have any questions or comments go ahead and leave me a message in the bottom uh, I'll have all of the information uh, in the description about these two and where you can get them uh, so if you uh, and like, like the video and want to see some more, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.